hand slips from the thumb, like uh, the other Texas blues man, Lightning Hopkins, didn't alternate the bases. He just hit one bass, and then he damped with his hand immediately. On the F. On the C. And sometimes on the open strings. Now you can see immediately that uh, you have to be very careful with this technique. For example, if you don't damp immediately, or you don't damp in the correct way, then the strings will ring, you'll hear the full force of the note. And it sounds a little bit strange. To the C, he will lift his finger off to play an open note there. So it creates a kind of a pattern on the bass notes. We're going to look at uh, the way that Mance played this song. And we're going to look at a few variations as we move through it. Particularly the addition of what uh, Ernie Hawkins calls grace notes. That is, in many tablature you'll see the main notes to hit with your fingers. But often when you hear the performance of the old blues guys, there's something else there. There's a note or two added in. We have a basic C chord. And sometimes the finger will move over to the bass string on the third fret to make this shape. We use F, but never a full F. We use this shape. We play this shape for this reason. If we play the full shape, all our left hand fingers are occupied. But if we just play this shape, then this little finger can move around, it can play the last string, the sixth string. It can bend on the fifth string. as we slide up. I caught you with another man and after man you hit this C7 chord which accentuates